Good afternoon. This is History for Sixth Grade, trying a little bit different setup. So, um, yeah, let me know if there's a way to let me know um, if this looks better. <laughs> um, the lighting in here was, uh, some of our lights have gone out. So that's why I had to switch sides of the board um, for this. But hopefully you can see everything. Um, and if not, we can figure that out. But <clears throat> We are in lesson 148, so this should be Thursday, um, April 15th, uh, unless you are ahead, and then if you are, great. Um, you just get a little longer of a weekend if you are. If you're not, then um, you will be just right on track. So um, we are looking at the islands of the West Indies, and so there's several groups of islands that we talk about, um, and in those island groups, there's many islands in those. So you have your Greater Antilles um, and that uh, the Antilles is a term that we use for islands. So we've got the Greater Antilles and the Lesser Antilles and also the Bahamas. So those are the three main groups that the West Indies are divided into. There is a fourth group um, called the Bermuda Islands but those aren't technically in the West Indies. They're north of it. They're in fact um, about five, five to six hundred miles off of the coast of North Carolina. So um, they're, they're not down in this region, but you can locate those if you want to look at the map. It's on um, the map on page 344 and 345. So you can see um, Bermuda off of that, off the side of the U.S. So um, our the Greater Antilles are the bigger islands, um, and so th those would be Cuba, Hispaniola, which is Haiti and Dominican Republic today, um, Jamaica and Puerto Rico. Those are your four. And then the Bahamas are um, northwest of those, those four main islands, um, the big islands, and those are a group of islands. Um, known as the Bahamas, they're very, very much, and we're going to talk about this some, but they're, they're a big tourist spot. Um, a lot of people want to go to the Bahamas. You may have heard that before, um, and because they're, they're, um, because of the nice climate there. They're in the, uh, most of them are in the tropic or the temperate zone, and mo the islands, and so you've got that, um, the, the nice breezes that come through and um, they're close to the equator so they're going to be a little bit warmer and so they're they're nice spots to go for like winter and stuff so um so that's our greater Antilles and those Bahamas the lesser Antilles would include the Virgin Islands the Leeward Islands and the Windward Islands um, Barbados Trinidad Tobago and the Netherland Antilles Okay, so those are some different groups of islands that are included with the lesser. And so they're just smaller. I mean, if you were to go to them, you may not think they're small, but then if you were to go, if you were to go to like Cuba or Puerto Rico, um, one of the greater Antilles, you would see there is a big difference in size um, for those. And so then we also have, um, because these islands um, are in, an under, they're kind of, they're part of an underwater mountain range that is believed to have put um, what connected the North America and South America together when all the continents were one. And that is actually um, a, a common thought for before the flood. Okay. And so um, these islands have a lot of volcanoes in them and so um, because and they're very mountainous and very hilly um, with that and so there is some active volcanoes still Mount Pele is one of them that's on Martinique Island and um, but you know uh, this one erupted in 1902 and killed almost 40,000 people <laughs> um, it destroyed an entire city and so there is of course danger with a volcano because when it, it goes and when it erupts there's not much um, you can do about that um, and so that's one of the things that 
these islands have in common. There's, there are some dangers with an island because there isn't um, anywhere inland to go um, that you could get away with from some of the things that um, could happen. Um, and not to scare you or anything, it's just that that's the way an island works. And so, um, and we're gonna talk about some of the, the storms that can happen on an island. And so, um, it's not always <laughs> the safest place to be, but um, it would be fun to go and have a vacation or something. I don't know if I'd want to live on an island long term, but <clears throat> some people do and they they love it. So one of the things that um, they are known for around this area, the Bahamas um, have a, they're, they're flat and sandy because they're made of coral. And so there's coral reefs all around these islands that they happen in shallow, more shallow water. So not, not your deep water, you would find coral reefs. Um, I mean, and shallow is relative because of course it's, it's the ocean and, and it is a deep, you know, 15, 20, 30, um, probably up to a mile deep. Um, so, the coral reef isn't, it's not um, shallow in what we would think of like a shallow end of a pool. It's just more shallow than um, out deep sea would be. So um, we've got the coral reefs and so those are made up of those living polyps that um, they're tiny animals and, and they are, um, they form this, this limestone, kind of like a wall um, and so that's what that is. Um, some of the fish and, and animals that <coughs> you would find, there's guppies. Those are very, um, very prominent in the, and angelfish. They live in the salt water, I mean, the, sorry, the freshwater streams, lakes, and rivers that are along the tropical coast. Um, and so there are many tropical fish that swim around the coral reef and um, they are, those would be the ones that you would probably find in an aquarium somewhere um, or just because they are they're colorful so people want to to see them um so then we've got the queen conch and um the helmet shell and then we see the horse conch in our book and so the conch is the world's largest shell and um it's a sea snail and they, it produces, uh, when, when an irritant gets in it, like a little bit of sand, dirt, something gets into the shell, um, they produce pearls. And so there's different types of shells and different types of these um, conchs that will do different color um, pearls. Um, the horse conch is the largest shell that's found in American waters. Um, and then the helmet shell, resembles a white helmet. Um, and so it's got brown on the in, um, it's got brown on the inside, but then white covers that. And um, it's, it's used for many things. And some of the animals that you might see down there, you've got your dolphins. Um, and of course, those are similar to whales and um, porpoises, but it's, they have that beak-like snout, um, as you may remember from when we studied these in, I think it was fourth grade science. You may remember learning the difference between the dolphin and the porpoise. Um, and if you don't, that's okay. Um, the marlin fish is, uh, has a spear-like snout. Um, the wahoo has um, a protruding snout, so kind of probably similar to the dolphin, um, and they can grow up to over five feet long and weigh up to 140 pounds. That's a really big fish. Um, but the commercial fishermen usually pull out of their sardines, tuna, and spiny lobster. And then um, it's also common to see sea turtles and manta rays in that area. Um, and then on the islands, you would see um, there's coconut palms. Um, they are, there's many tropical plants like that, and mangoes, cacao, which is where we get um, cocoa and chocolate from. 
uh, wild orchards and sugarcane. Um, and then there's the mangroves that stand along the lagoons. Um, and you've got, there's some high islands that would have tropical rainforests and you would see some different um, animals from that. And then um, sugar and tourism are, pro are their biggest um, industries for these islands. Um, of course, there's hurricanes that, uh, hurricane season is from um, June to November. And um, it is, it can be dangerous um, when they do have precautions set in place, but there, there's very strong winds that come with hurricanes and uh, very um, unpredictable. Um, and so the, they, they do have some different things that they put in place for that. And um, in the North Pacific Ocean, hurricane is called a typhoon. But in the Indian Ocean or the South Pacific, that's called a cyclone. So you may have heard some of those terms and wondered what the difference was. Well, it's where it's located. We've, um, and probably was from the people that live close to them. They called them different things. And so then we determined that they, we were talking about the same thing, but they still have those different names for them. All right. Um, and so, You have a skill sheet 40 to do, and um, then your homework for this lesson. Um, so go ahead and make sure you read pages 289 to 292. Answer this comprehension check on 292. There's, there's four questions there, and do that on paper. And then <coughs> do CCU 16, section C, questions one and two. Section D, numbers one through eight, and section E, numbers one through five on paper. Those can be not done on the same paper as your comprehension check. Just make sure you label it for both. And then study, and this is gonna be, this quiz that is in the next lesson um, is a longer, longer amount of stuff to study. So I just want you to know, it's pages 180 to 192. It's sections 15.4, all the way to 16.2. So it's about half of section or of chapter 15 and the first two sections of chapter 16. So it's um, it's not half of, of 16, but it is um, it's almost half. <laughs> um, so you want to get to study all those things, go over your comprehension checks, go over the chapter checkup for 15 um, for the questions that would fall under pages 280, so let's see. That would be I would go over Well, okay, so it is only the last section of chapter 15. So I would just make sure you go over that last comprehension check really well and know about those countries there. And then you're gonna wanna know about the country, these islands in the West Indies um, that we've just talked about. So, and the ones we talked about before when we went in depth on Cuba and Haiti and um, the people that Christopher Columbus named and everything. So you're gonna wanna know those and you're, um, so you could do well on that quiz. So um, go ahead and make sure that you do that and don't forget the skill sheet 40 in your map book and um, then we will see you in the next lesson.